Hey, 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 cooking with your girl, Judy. Tonight we're having enchilados. Uh, we're going to start off with the ground beef. And it says 73% lean, 27% fat. Starting off with ground beef. We're going to put some onions in them. And uh, some chili. Chili, uh, uh, let me see, chili... It was supposed to be chilies cut, but what I what I bought, I didn't have my glasses on. I bought chili chop chop cream chilies. So it's gonna be alright. I'm I'm gonna put these in there. I'm gonna have you're gonna need a uh about a cup or a half a cup of oil. We're gonna make a roux again. You're gonna need about four tablespoons of flour. And I've separated everything so I can just breeze right through it. Uh, you're going to need some uh, red enchilada uh, sauce. I'm going to put that at the bottom, but I'm going to put a homemade on top. Soul food seasoning, cilantro, accent, parsley, garlic powder, ground cuminum. Kosher salt, chili powder. You're gonna need some cheese, shredded cheese. Um, I've got um, uh, just a minute. Hold on. I can't remember what kind of uh, shredded cheese I have, but shredded cheese. It's the yellow che cheddar. Cheddar, okay. Oh, cheddar cheese. Uh, this is mozzarella cheese, and this is provolone and um, Monterey Jack or something with jalapenos in it. But you can use whatever kind of cheese you want. You don't have to use what cheese I have. And I'm, I'm going to uh, open up some cans of queso, cheese sauce. I've got the white cheese, and I've got the yellow cheese. And, oh, the uh, flour tortitos. We forgot about the main star, the tortitos. And I'm going to start with my ground beef and grinding my ground beef and my onion. And I'm going to move right along over here and start it out. Scala back. And I'm going to have to do my nails. Okay. I'm going to turn the stove on. Bird, you going to tell you something. Okay, you can't tell me nothing right now. You got to be quiet, okay? Okay, And uh, I'm going to start off with my onion. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in it. Start my onion. Start my onion off. Okay. Don't mess with it. Okay. No, no, no. Huh? It's for girls. Oh. So you know. Huh? Huh? You know somebody wanna eat. You know what I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna get them sort of translucent. Right. Uh, right. And uh. Mama then I'm going to put the ground beef in on it. Okay. 
Look, I got the other pot on. I knew they were supposed to be sizzling by now. Bye, Ren. Bye. Be quiet, okay? Be quiet. No, be quiet for now. Okay. Got the onion going. my hands off? Is it quick? Even though I've had my hands in water all day, I keep my hands in water. My hands are so dry. So very dry. But uh, now let me do my ground beef. Put my ground beef in. Polish. You better not get it over my counter. Okay. I'm gonna uh, grind my ground beef and I'll be right back with you. Okay? Okay, I'm on. I'm going to uh, add a little coarse kosher salt in it, about a teaspoon. About a teaspoon. Got a teaspoon of accent. It enhances the flavor. Well, however much you want. I think I put a little over half a teaspoon. Over a teaspoon. Soul food seasoning. You know, this is my go-to flavor. About Stop, Colin. a tablespoon. Okay, garlic powder, about a half teaspoon. About a teaspoon, rather. And I'm going to continue grinding my ground beef. Okay, garlic powder. I'm going to go and come back. Okay, I forgot to add the cumin. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of ground cumin. My mind been running all day. No, baby. Okay, about a half teaspoon of ground cumin. Hi, hi. No, about a teaspoon. Hi, hi. And black pepper. About a teaspoon. Okay, mix it all up. Oh, this smells good. Yeah. Oh. And now I'm going to take it off the stove and sit it to the side. I'm going to go ahead and drain the grease off of it. Turning it off. Draining the grease. Now I'm going to warm my tortillas. Oh. 
little extra virgin olive oil. I need that, Bernie. Bernie. Huh? Why do you need that? Because I'm fixing to warm my tortillas. I love tortillas. This is cheese. You got to eat tacos. A little taco. Wanna turn it down a little? Nah. Let me get a spatula. Okay. Show you how I do my first two or three, and then I'm gonna um go away. Warming your tortillas are necessary because when you roll them, they don't crack apart and uh, they, they are pliable. So warming them up is, is real good. You can put them in the microwave. You can, uh, some way or other you can warm them. Put them in the microwave, oh, in the oven uh, and let them sit for a minute, not long. And then you can uh, warm them on a griddle. Get down. Oh, I'm thirsty, Granny. Get your mom to get you something to eat. Drink. Paper towel and let them let the grease drain from them. Daddy puffing up. And I've got the paper towel right over there. Or I could just sit them here. How about that? Cause they're not really greasy. I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna do the rest of these, and I'm gonna go away, and I'll be right back with you. Hey y'all! <coughs> I'm fixing to get started now. Hey, hey, Susie. Is Colin going with y'all? Okay. Now I'm going to make the sauce. This is going to go on the enchiladas. And I'm going to get my pot sort of hot. I'm going to add, I'm going to make a roux. About um, three tablespoons of oil. You can use any kind of oil you want. You can use the olive oil. You can use the Crisco oil. Um, right now I'm using the Crisco oil. Y'all taking Colin? And uh, my ground beef is sort of then cool dark. I'm going to add Half the cheese in the ground beef. And I'm going to keep a half to put on top of the enchiladas. 
I'm going to add a little of this cheese. I think this is the moderate jack. Moderary jack. I'm going to add a little of that. And I forgot to add my chilies. I should have added my chilies when I was cooking it. But I looked over behind on the counter and they were sitting there. So I'm going to add it in. With the ground beef and cheese. Where's Scarlet? Where's Scarlet? Mm -hmm. They didn't take you? They didn't take you? My towel. And I'm going to mix it up. And this is what's going to go in between the enchiladas. Bless you! Okay. All right. I think the chilies came out better mixing it in like this. Because they weren't the diced chilies, they were the cream chili. And I'm going to put the flour in about. Four tablespoons of flour. I'm going to stir. Ready. And I've already made my broth. My uh, beef broth. And I made it from the better than bouillon beef broth. I put about a table, about a tablespoon in about maybe two cups of water. And, uh... This is my broth that's going to go into my sauce. So I'm going to put the sauce, I mean the broth, over to the side. And I'm going to stir this uh, roux. Until it comes to like a cream form. Cream. Until it is cream. Then I'm going to add. Two tablespoons of chili powder. I don't know. Did she go with uh, her mama? Huh? She go with her mama? Well, I put too much. About three tablespoons of chili powder. No. Sit down. And turn it down a little bit. Cause it's burning my hands and my gloves. <laughs> now that's good enough. Yeah. Then I'm going to add. About a teaspoon of garlic powder. About a teaspoon of cilantro. Cilantro. And about a teaspoon of ground cumin. Now you don't have to add these in here, they are optional. But I like the flavor of cumin and cilantro. Then 
I'm going to add the bouillon. I'm gonna make sure it's stirred up real good because it tends to fall to the bottom, the base. So I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. And this is when I turn it up and add just a little water at a time. A little bouillon tea. Bouillon base, water base. And this is what you call homemade enchilada sauce. Even though I have a canned enchilada sauce, I'm going to put that on the bottom. And this is a, this one I'm gonna put on the top. Hey, no, stop it. No, no, put it down. Put that down. Okay, the rest of that bouillon. Okay, smells wonderful. And I've got my workstation here. Got my my tortilla chips. Okay, that should be it. I'm gonna turn this off. Now I'm getting ready to work with my tortilla chips. Trying to find something to pour them in because I got to dip them in there. Let me see. Okay, right there. All right. Roll them and place them flat in the bowl. That's better, isn't it? Okay. Why is this better? Okay. I'm going to dip them in. The enchilada sauce. Wait a minute. First, I'm going to pour a little bit in the bottom. The homemade. Get it from corner to corner. Okay. Pull them out. Grab a little meat.
Let me move the pot. Okay. Now I'm going to roll them. And put the flapping inside down. Dip them in the sauce. Drain a little excess off. Roll them up. Now some people like to do them with clean hands, as they can say. But uh, I just don't. I, I, don't, I like the glove hands. Makes my hands feel better. Dip them. I'm going to do two more. And then I'm going to go away and dip and, uh and uh, roll them up. Okay. And they're real good and pliable. They roll up real good. You can put bell peppers on the inside of them. You don't have to just put onions. You can put bell peppers. Okay, let me finish this one more off. You can use the big long tortillas. I got the little mini ones. I like them better. That way I can get two or three of them. With the big ones, I, I can only get one. Okay. That's what they look like rolled up. I'm gonna finish them off and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my oven warming up on uh, 350. I'm going to, uh, I've got all the enchiladas together. Hey, no, 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 no. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I warm the sauce a little bit more. I'm going to put a little sauce on top of the roll one. And the reason why I put the tortilla ch shells in the um, enchilada sauce and roll them is because the t tortilla shells don't have any uh, taste to them, any seasoning, and uh, the uh, extra sauce makes them seasoned. So I'm going to pour over top the enchilada sauce. sauce okay now I'm going to add the cheese and I'm going to get a glove then I think I stop running stop running
I'm going to add the cheese, the cheddar cheese. I'm going to half in it. And I thought I was going to have to add the queso cheese. I didn't think I was going to have enough, the, can, the cheese in the can. I didn't think I was going to have enough cheese, cheese, but so far I've got enough cheese. I'm, I'm going to use that for something else, probably my taco video that I have coming up next. Then I tell you, I'll start running. I like a lot of cheese. I've got cheese on the inside and I've got cheese on the outside. So I love a lot of cheese. Come get my scholar. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this on there. Ain't no sense of saving that little bit. Got mine. Cover your mouth. I just got put my name. Okay, and I'm going to add a little parsley on it and stick it in the oven. And the parsley for, is for the color and for the look. <coughs> hey! Skyler ain't been back two days and already she's she doing what she do. Mom, I'm going to go and I'm going to stick them in the oven Mom, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've strained the ground beef off. I'm going to put two packs of taco seasoning in the uh, meat. Okay, Mom. Mm -hmm. Better catch up. Huh? Better catch up. They're going to leave you. Huh? They're going to leave you. Uh, leave? leave you. You better catch up. Huh? You don't want to go? And uh, the rest of the enchilada mix. A cup of water. And I like to put paste picante in my taco meat. About a half a jar. And this is like a, let me see if I can see it. Uh, this is a 16 ounce bottle. So I'm going to put a half a 16 ounce paste picante in the meat. Stir it around. And then I'm going to bring it to a slow simmer. along with the rice. I got about seven more minutes to uh, give the uh, Spanish rice a uh, slow simmer and then I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to let it sit for like three, four minutes. And I'll be right back. Okay, the beef enchiladas are done. They've been done for about maybe 15 minutes. Um, they look so yummy. Uh, you can put sour cream on top of them, uh, lettuce and uh, chopped tomato, and uh, sort of spruce them up, make them look real good, or, well, in that case, taste good. Um, I'm um, going to need for you to subscribe, like, and comment to my video, and uh, stay humble 
Be blessed. And y'all have a good day. You'll see these in my in my thumbnail or either my intro with them fixed up. So, y'all have a good day. Bye for now. Okay, here is my enchilada with Spanish rice. This is going to be real good. I haven't even tasted it yet, and I know it's going to be good. I thought I'd come back and show you. Even though it's going to go in my intro, Spanish rice enchilada with sour cream and tomatoes and uh, picante sauce on top. Y'all ain't got to go home, but you got to get out of here. Bye for now.